welcome back to Doolittles Do More. The Doolittles are not doing much right now because it's a sea day. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we'd take this opportunity while we're at sea to take you and give you a tour of the Morella Discovery cruise ship and also give you an idea of the types of things you can do to keep yourself entertained on a sea day. Let's go and have a look round. Our journey begins at deck 10 where you can find the running track three times round equals a mile. You can find the crazy golf course, great views over the pool and of the large video screen and a climbing wall. So that is what Claire's going to be climbing up. She's just reading the instructions now. No doubt it says that they accept no responsibility if she falls <laughs> off into the sea. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what you can do on your sea day. Everyone's just clapping because the guys reach the top. I might just go and get a pina colada. <laughs> What's you want to go? Green right? Green right leg, I think. Yeah. You doing good? You're getting some good footage of the sea from your bum, Claire, so that's good. <laughs> I'm hungry, it's time to get food from the pool deck. On deck 9 you will find Islands Buffet at the front, the swimming pool deck in the middle, you will also find the glass house indoor pool and something that's called a gymnasium as well as the spa. Finally, time to grab some convenience food from the snack shack. Back into the lift and down to deck 6. We skip 7 and 8 because they are purely residential decks. Deck 6 is where you find the coffee port. You can also use the books that are on loan there and also games and jigsaw puzzles. Great for a sea day. Back in the lift down to deck 5. Deck 5 is where we start to find some fantastic things to do on a sea day. On one side of the alpaca you have destination services for booking excursions and on the other you've got reception. Just round from reception you've got the photo gallery where you can use a sea day to take advantage of the opportunity to check out any photos that have been taken of you throughout the cruise. We also advise going on a photo shoot during a sea day because you can get some amazing sunsets. These are the photos we had taken of us. Whilst on deck five, make sure you pick up a bargain from the Broad Street shops. These are only open on a sea day due to taxation laws. At the very front of deck five, you'll find the Squid and Anchor pub. Now this is advertised as a traditional English pub. During the daytime they do entertainment such as pub quizzes and in the evening you'll find that they could do anything like game shows or live music. Oh, sweet Caroline, ba, ba, ba. 
wrong. The times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. Let's get back to the lift quickly before we get a copyright strike. Down to level four. The first thing you can do on level four is film yourself walking down the gold ornate steps. Very Instagrammable. Then, don't forget to look up and take in the whole of the atrium. On the final day of the cruise, this is where the farewell show will be and it is always a fantastic spectacle. Don't miss it. As you head forward on deck four, you pass through the casino, the live room, and end up at our favorite place on the ship, the Broadway Show Lounge. It's a theater on the sea. In the theatre you'll find nice comfortable leather seats. Oh, and David. And there's also Claire doing her makeup, just in case they need another dancer on stage. Unfortunately they didn't, the ones they had were just too awesome. We love going to the onboard shows. They add extra value for money, as essentially you get to see a West End standard show every night of the week. And the vocalists are fantastic too. After such a busy day, it's time to go back to our cabin, but we're not taking you with us because we've actually done a cabin tour as a video that will feature in a few weeks time. Join us next time as we sail into New York City. If you enjoyed our video, please do consider giving us a like, a comment and subscribing so you don't miss any future content. Until the next time. Do little's done.